Hey guys, my name is Cindy Egg and welcome back to another episode. Episode? Episode of Airport CEO. Well, last episode, guys, we built our very own car parks and it looks like our short stay, no, no, this is a long stay, sorry, is completely full. We have a couple for the short stay right now, which I don't know whether I should change it to long stay. I'm not too sure, but it seems to be going pretty well. We're making some sweet cash money moolah. We did some beautiful expansions and we got that baggage conveyor splitter on two for when we eventually add in a second one. Uh, and everything is going pretty well. We're making a lot of money. Uh, the previous day we made 46,000 in profit. Today so far we've made 44,000 in profit. The money's coming in. It's coming in slowly. Slowly than I'd like it, but at the end of the day, it's still coming in. Now, we're going to spend loads of money today. Of course we are. We always do. But I want to try and complete this remote stand. And if possible, uh, how much is it? I, I'm going to say if possible. Uh, 300000 for a large-sized one. Damn, boy. So what's the difference between these? There's no difference. It's just like the different tarmac, isn't it? It's like one's asphalt, one's concrete. Uh, I might get a large stand in just so we can try and get more money and more people coming in. We'll see how things go. So guys, welcome back. If you've been joining Airport CEO, smash that like button down below because the turn is about to happen where we're about to bring in so much cash money moolah that eventually we'll probably end up destroying everything and then rebuilding a fabulous Falls International Airport. Uh, but first things first, I noticed this. If I go to vehicles, is it vehicles? It's not vehicles. It was this button. I went down to the management panel and I went to. No, I think it was I went to the vehicles, wasn't it? No, I went somewhere and I can't remember where. Ah, there we go. The operations and um, vehicle job tasks. And I noticed something that we kind of need it. It only happens every so often in a certain scenario when they're unloading the bags uh, that I could do with one, some more baggage trucks and two, a belt loader truck as well. Now I was thinking to myself, what is a belt loader truck? What does that do? And I went to the procurement and I found out uh, the belt loader truck here, basically when they, um, when the baggage handling truck thingamajig comes, is there going to be any that go over there right now? Uh, right, this one's got some bags. Oh, no, they're all going. So basically, it picks up the bags. It gets over to here, or vice versa. When I want to take bags off or put bags on the plane, our um, ramp agent has to do it manually. Whereas if I had it like one of those belt loaders, it would just come out like a conveyor system like you normally see in real life, which makes so much more sense, make it so much more efficient, and we can take off and put bags on planes a whole lot quicker. So I'm going to buy a couple of those. So... Right, belt loader here. Let's buy, let's get two of them. Let's order them right now. And then it costs 5,000 a piece. And what were they saying I could also do with a little bit extra? It's only in certain moments that I could do with it. Another baggage truck. Now, I have noticed that myself I could do with another baggage truck. Probably not so much a baggage truck, but another one of these next to it here. Because I've noticed there's like uh, sometimes there's a, there's a truck behind waiting for a long time. If, if there's like a, a bunch of baggage that needs to go onto a plane, uh, and then it does take a while to kind of get up and running, but we'll kind of we'll kind of see how it all goes. But anyway, 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 anyway. So how much money we made so far today? Fifty-two thousand, which is more than the previous day. And I've just bought two new trucks as well, which is glorious. All right, nice, nice. Let's take a look at trying to get this done. Then the remote stance. Now, what it basically allows us to do is have a little check-in desk here, a boarding desk, but have it connected to a shuttle bus that will shuttle the passengers to a stand that's not connected to the terminal. Meaning, you know our general aviation over here? I could turn all of these from general aviation uh, pretty much into stands and it just shuttle buses people to and from. Now, I'm not gonna do every single one because that will be a lot of chaos. I might do one or two. So what I need to do then is build an airside shuttle bus to make sure passengers can access it from the terminal. Right. So what I think I might do is kind of slightly expand this a little bit. Uh, and so we can kind of satisfy that need. So let's first go to our infrastructure. Is it this I need to go to? Is it the airplane infrastructure? The terminal stuff? It's something or other. But I need to get one of these connected. And I just got to figure out where it is. I think it's the actual infrastructure here. And it's a, it's, what's it called again? It is a, an airside shuttle bus stop. This here. Beautiful. So that needs to be facing a road like this. 
And if I drop one there and have one there, which means I can have two of them together, which will be pretty cool. And I'm just going to kind of build a slight terminal here. Now, this is going to cost me how much? Why can't I? Oh, not a valid position. So I've got to kind of demolish some of this. So for now, all this is going to quickly just disappear. Just get, get rid of that real quick. Get rid of that to there. And then, oh, I need to, <laughs> I'm thinking, why is nothing happening? And then I realize I've got to deploy some contractors. Right, let's deploy them all. I know it's a little bit over the top, but I can get the job done so much more quicker. I'm going to turn this whole little section here now into the shuttle bus kind of area section. <laughs> if that's the best word I could kind of come up with it. So we're just waiting for them to uh, make their way over. Now, I could fit a third one in there, but I'm not going to because I want that kind of connection, that crossing over to this little section. But obviously, we're going to make it all indoors because progression, boys, progression. So cover all that, get all that done. And let's just quickly demolish that, that. We don't need that doing. And walls, just need that one just there. Now that's windows. Don't get don't get it twisted, boy. Right, I'm gonna put a medium door just there. Oh, we need to uh, demolish this as well. There we go. Back to the terminal. Walls. There we go. Do I keep that in? Or are they gonna demolish that anyway? I don't know whether I need to or not. To be honest with you. I don't know if I do, but I need to make it a secure area anyway, this whole little section. And just there, so that all connects over. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah, what do I do with this then? Hmm. Right, you know what? I'm going to delete it. I'm going to put a wall back in here. There we go. Glorious, glorious, glorious. And then we're pretty much all back up and running. So we've got two different shades here. What's, what's going on with the two different shades? I don't really know. But we've got that up and running anyway, what it wanted me to do. And let me just pull it into pause for a second. So build and connect a boarding desk to the air shuttle bus stop. Okay, so I need the desks. And the boarding desk, which is this one. Uh, we'll go with the small ones. I should really put like a door in there, shouldn't I? Right, which which side does it go on? Okay, it goes this side. So if I place um, this one... There... <laughs> we'll place this one there. And then this one will go here. So they're both equal in a way. Terminal, doors, let's go for a large... Oh, should we go for a medium door? Now, let's go for a large door. Why not? What? What? How did I... No, I didn't do a large door there. They already kind of made the door for us, didn't they? And they kind of did. So, I'll go for a medium. No, that's not a medium. That's a window. Medium. There we go. One there. One there. That should be good for us. Um, what else is needed? I can maybe put some seating down. What if I did, like, a, a large double row gate seating? here I'm trying to make see if that's like do you reckon that's reasonable right if we do a space there for a plant pot another space there for a plant pot two right we do one there as well because <clears throat> I want to try and make it look beautiful at the same time <laughs> and we'll go with this one so oh no I messed that up big time Goodbye, plant pot. Goodbye. And was it this one? I think it was this one. Right, and then we fast forward now to try and get all that done. Uh, and then we're going to connect these up. So we have this little kind of outlet area here where we're going to turn a couple of stands over there for this shuttle bus um, stuff, which low-key then gives us an additional two, like, slots for landing planes. I'm not sure this runway is going to be able to handle it all, to be honest. Right, we'll see how that goes over time. So, um, how do I do it then? So, build and connect it. So, if I select this, connect stand. No, that's not how I do it, is it? 
Connect. Ah, there we go. Connect air sh shuttle stop. There we go. So now they're both connected. We'll put it into play for a second. Build a service car stop to make sure the ramp agents can access it. Huh? A service car stop. Right, I'm confused with that one. So back into here. Service car stop. Enables around the image to be transported to and from remote stands. Connects to a service road built near a... T uh, oh, okay, okay, I get it, 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 boys. Um, right. I can build that there. Yeah, I can build it there just because it fits in. That's the only reason. But I'm going to have to add a little bit extra to it. So... You have to get a door in the hopes that that all works. So let me just turn this into a secure zone as well. Right, let's fast forward them. So hopefully that will work. And so basically, they'll come out to here, get in their service car, and then be able to travel to and from and whatnot. So hopefully, yeah, like I said, hopefully that works. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to, but that'll be kind of interesting to see. So we're now just playing the waiting game while we wait for it to complete. Ah, <sighs> right. <laughs> well, that's done. We've built that. So will that now tick off? Uh, build a new standing connected to a boarding desk. Oh, hold on. Boarding desk. Um, clear. No. Wait. Build a new stand. Oh no, this is the next goal. I just realized. <laughs> so let's uh, let's turn this off general aviation, right? There we go. So the all the baggage stuff is not connected and whatnot. So I'll get it connected now. So we understand and connect to a boarding desk. So how do I connect to a boarding desk? Do I connect the, the boarding desk like this way? Yeah, connect stand. Uh, can't close stand when it's assigned aircraft in the world exists. Ah. So dismiss the aircraft. Well, I, I've selected... We might have to wait. Right, if I turn this one. There we go real quick. And then make this one... Connect to you. So, ah, the plane's just landed. So we're going to have to kind of just briefly wait until... Okay, that plane's now going. Right, once it's left the world... Then uh, we should be able to get that one up and running. So the baggage bay is not connected. So connect. How do I do these? Okay, is it just simply like that? Baggage bay. Uh, service car stop. Um, service car stop. Is that what I just placed over here? Yeah. Right. No, wait. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Reconnect baggage bay. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Ah, oh, it makes sense. Connect service car start. There we go. That's now all up and running. Do the same to this one. Service car start. Oh, okay. We can't do it. Right, let me just miss that plane if I can. Right, makes sense. Makes sense. Nice. So I should now technically have in the flight planner, a flight planner, a new one. Which they're already, it's already been populated with flights. So let me just quickly pause. Because I've got to now buy at least one airside shuttle bus. Now I'm going to buy two. Because we have two of them. So economy, procurement. Uh, and what's it called again? Sorry. Uh, an airside shuttle bus. Airside shuttle bus. I'm also starting to think as well, guys. We're not going to have enough room in our garages. Our garages. Well, I buy two of those. They're now going to be on the way. So I'm just waiting for this plane now to disappear. Get out of here. Connect baggage back. I can't do anything to it until that flight's left. But at least this one's now kind of set up. So we have slightly expanded the terminal. That's pretty cool, man. I'm kind of impressed. So with all the money we've spent so far, how much have we lost today? Only 12,000? That's not bad considering I've got all the contractors out as well and about and they like suck up a ton of my cash money moolah as well. 
Right, I'm waiting for my, my service vehicles to come, I'm waiting for this plane to disappear. I've toggled this to not be, yeah, to be commercial as well. So we see how that goes. Got to, got to wait now. That's what we got to do. Is wait till that's gone. But right, then vehicles here yet? Yeah. Uh, economy procurement. How long did it take to come? Oh God, no, no, sorry, no. We got to purchase now a service car. I just realised. Um, so a service car here is an ideal transfer. Okay, so I'm going to get two of these as well. Because obviously we've got two of the stands, so I might as well get one of each. And wait for a scheduled flight to come in to play. So that comes now then. Um, today! Oh, that's great. That's great. Okay. Uh, just waiting now then. Again, like I said, for that plane to go. And then we can see this remote stand work in all its glory. Hopefully it does pretty well. It's it's quite complex just to get them to, to where we need to, them to go to, but I suppose it allows us to kind of create a more complex airport, have more stands as well in areas that I can't connect to the terminal, so that's kind of beneficial in that way. But I just got to wait for this plane to, uh, to go. So when does it... Okay, so we, it looks like it departs at 6 in the morning. So we haven't got too long to wait, uh, which is good. So how much did we lose yesterday then? 26,000. That's not bad considering how much stuff I got done today. Also, operations. Let's dismiss all of our contractors because we no longer need them for just a second. So we don't have to pay their wages. That'll be good. Um, people are now checking in, which is good. I might need more agents, maybe. Yeah, it looks like I need more agents. What are these again? These are passenger service agent. Why oh, is that plane gone yet? No. Let me get some more passenger service agents then. So we'll hire you, hire you. Hire just simply two more. Because there's in those moments now where we kind of need to be able to check everybody in a lot quicker. Um, right, play. No checking desk available for due to the baggage service. What? What? What did you say? Um, no chicken to baggage handling service is uh, enabled, but there is no baggage bay connected to this stand. Which stand? <gasps> Reconnect baggage bay. No, it's connected. Right, all connected. Yeah, all connected. They're talking about this one. I mean, I can't do anything until thing is landed anyway. But there's people are waiting over here as if they're going that way. And literally, I'm waiting for this plane to get out of here to skedaddle. <sighs> it's a huge pain. Right. No, 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 no. Is that plane still here? Oh, guys, come on. There's a plane here right now. Are you for real? Right, I've closed the stand just so I can connect the baggage bay. Service car. There we go. <laughs> took a while, boys. It took a while. But that's because once I had it open, they already scheduled flights for it. And then that's why they couldn't land or couldn't do anything because the scheduled flights came into play. Uh, so you've done it. You're now officially a CEO of a fully operational international airport. Right, sweet. Wait, can I get out of here, please? Goodbye. Is that all done? That's now all done, guys. Okay, we've completely done it all. So, apparently, we're now, like, professionals. Let's um, sign a contract to get somebody else back in here. Uh, they want to get 800 sales. It never happens, but hey-ho, there you go. So, now they're letting us loose, then, boys. Now they're letting us loose. I actually want to see this take place, then, because I didn't quite get to see it, did I? 
So we've got two new um, stands. It's seven and eight are our remote stands, which is interesting. So they were getting onto the to it there. Is there any fees involved? Right, they come over to here. They'll get off, and they go. So that's that's like you know the equivalent of me building two more stands and having them connected. So the bus comes. Everybody gets on. And off they go. It, it just it just kind of works, doesn't it? To be honest, it is. Yeah, it literally just kind of works. So with that said, we need to make some serious money at this point, don't we? We we need to big, take a big change. And uh, what I've been thinking about is getting a loan. Now, getting a loan, because um, it would be nice to be able to buy a large stand. Now I'm just looking at the loans. If I took this one, I've only got to pay an extra 98 grand back. So if I don't spend it all, but I'm gonna take the money. All right, there we go. Let's put it into play. I've took the money and ran. Uh, we've got 1.5 million, which we haven't had over a million in quite some time. And what I'm gonna do right now is the terminal is we're gonna expand this there. We'll, obviously I don't have any contractors out at the minute. So I'll get them all out in just a second. Uh, aircraft infrastructure. We need a large asphalt one, which is huge. It's huge. But it's what's going to bring us... Do you see, just think of how many um, people come on the medium planes. I think how many are going to come on the large. I mean, we might have some issues, <laughs> to be honest. Um, do I have it facing a different way? Nah, because that, that means I've got to build like a ridiculous terminal. And it gets a little bit too much. Now, do I do two of these? Do you know what, guys? I've got the money at the minute, so I'm going to risk it for the chocolate biscuit. I could heavily regret this. There we go. I could really, I could literally heavily regret this so bad. All right, that's all gone. Um... Right, aircraft infrastructure. No, I need taxi. Right, I need. Do you know what? I'm gonna get my uh, contractors out now. Deploy all. This is gonna cost me so much money, but hopefully it's a, another big turning point for us. Taxiway foundation. That is a four going across. I'm hoping it's enough. And we'll see. This this is either gonna make or break our airport. This really is. So fast forward now then, because what the issue is going to be as well, <laughs> which I just thought, is these large stands are going to bring so many people into the airport, it's going to cripple our check-in desks, our security, our parking. It's going to cripple everything. But if we can make money from it, then we can slowly upgrade stuff over time. So he says. So he freaking says it's gonna go oh wait this air i've just noticed the airplane's got santa hats on i how have i only just noticed that that the airplanes have got santa hats on i don't know how i've just noticed that but that is that is hilarious right so how much money have we made today <laughs> right it's it, it counts it, it accounts for the loan so you don't really know I wish there was a more detailed kind of like financial thing. You can look there and see all the ins and outs. So much better. But you just kind of don't get it, do you? Uh, right, all the contractors now coming in. They're placing down all the flooring for the terminal. Which is good. Uh, with these extra people coming in too, you might get all the extra shoppers as well for the store. Which would be handy. This has got five days left and they're all not even halfway. Right, you ain't doing that either, mate. You is not doing that. Um, right, still waiting for these large stands to be built. I think I'm gonna as soon as they're built, I'm gonna turn them off because our automatic planner from our is it CIO whatever they are, they just automatically schedule stuff, and I kind of don't want them to schedule anything just yet. So keep it easy, boys. Keep it easy. <laughs> And is it set 
This is just, yeah, small aircraft. This is the medium and large. When I've unlocked it, it'll be a large runway as well. Because we're only getting like two planes and like every so often. Right. Let's just turn it off for a second. And I can't toggle that, but can I set everything up? So stand upgrade, repair, stand, demolish, give back service car, baggage bay. Right, can't really do anything to be honest. No, I don't want to allow a medium aircraft to, to go there. We've got to wait for this whole terminal to be built, haven't we? So yeah, this comes down to the contractors just finishing up. You'd think I've got like like 77, I think I've got, and look how slow they they are being. How dare you? But you know, they could be a lot slower. Got to give them some. Got to give them the benefit of doubt in some way. Um, missing taxi path. Yes, you are. Which this is a four wide taxi path. Where I've normally done like five wide. So I don't know how that's going to affect or change any of it as well. So that'll be fairly interesting to see. You think they're doing such huge squares as well, and how does it take them so long to get this all done? You're slow! <laughs> right, how much money have we lost then? Okay, oh, you forgot, yeah, I forgot we don't know until the next day, because it, it counts for the loan. But when I start to see them walking towards up here, majority of them, that's when you know this area is pretty much done, but there is a lot of walls they've got to do. Right, okay. So our long stay, do we do we build more car parks? Now I know I'm gonna have to demolish it all at some point. But them car parks are quite beneficial. I mean you don't get milliams from it, but it all adds up to be honest, doesn't it? Now where's the car park again? Oh the subway entrance stop. I forgot about that. Public parking lot. Oh, it's only two thousand five hundred. Right, if I do one two um oh do I want to do it like that four like that yeah now get the roads in after because it looks like our long stay gets filled up quite heavily so we'll, we'll take advantage of that uh, okay, so they're getting the walls done right now. They're doing a little bit of taxiway. I might as well kind of get the road all set up then while I'm waiting. So public road. There we go. So I've, I've turned it into a one-way system. That's what I've done there. And then bring that up to there. So once the road's built, then I can uh, sort everything out. That's actually quite a unique one. A little one-way system. So out and yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get the point, don't you? One-way road. Oh, I can add it in myself, can't I? So that way, that way. Um, I could do it where it's like that way and that way. So they will come straight up and then turn to go in. You right? I shouldn't have that much traffic, to be honest. Um. Yeah, they all can't go any other way. Just make sure they're all going in the right direction in somewhat. Uh, this is now all done. This is now all done. How, when did they create the doorway? Like, will they do it after all the wall and the taxiway and stuff like that? Maybe. <coughs> Maybe. But we also got to get the, the sidewalk in. So where's the sidewalk? Is it for the infrastructure stuff? Yeah. So get all that down there. Fill all that up. Get all that placed in. Glorious. They're now working on some of the taxiway right foundations. This has been some dramatic expansions. I gotta make sure I don't spend all the money. <laughs> Which you know it's gonna happen. But hopefully we can turn it all around. So people are... Ooh, delayed flight by an hour. Okay, well, we have to delay that. Nothing I can do about that at the minute. 
Oh, the war wallet has been delayed? To stand seven. Oh, this is for this stand, isn't it? Seven and eight. Do you know what I might do? Is we've got a 15 minute prompt uh, finger here. So, what if I said it's a 30 minute? So, we give a larger gap in between each flight. And then that will give the flights more time to turn around and get stuff done. But you won't really see that change now until God knows what day. Okay, a week today in game <laughs> is when you're going to see it take effect. Um, okay, so let's get now then the plan the taxiway. I don't know if it's going to work. Do you know what? It actually could work. Like, it, it might not be a problem to what I think it you know would be. I actually don't think it's going to be an issue. Because the point's there. It's just me being a little bit picky with having like a nice looking taxiway foundation. Uh, right, so now we're just waiting. So that's connected and everything then can pretty much all be set up. So again, the waiting game. There we go. So let's open these. Open these. Uh, so missing... How's it miss? Oh, it's missing the thingy, but I gotta... Why can't I turn that on? And then something in the procurement I gotta unlock, is it? Night flights. Uh, no, so why is it not doing what I want it to do? Um, it's close stand. Repair stand, demolish. Oh, I need, I need to get all the check the the, the desk stuff in. Don't I? Right, boarding desk quickly. Right, if I place. Oh, it's not even in a secure area. I mean, that would freaking help, wouldn't it? If it was in a, a freaking secure area. There we go. <laughs> Desks start with medium. Wait, then to get built. How are we doing down here anyway? So we've got a lot of the sidewalk that needs to be done. And what I'll do for these now is change them to long term, both of these. There we go. Because the long term car park that we got at the moment is completely filled up. So it'd be nice to get that all done as well. Uh, and oh, I forgot to, where is it? The crossroads, medium. We have to uh, build crossroads like this. So it connects everything and like people can walk to and from. Damn, Zaniac. They're doing it all wrong today, aren't we, boys? They're doing it all wrong. So I feel we're going to have to now wait for all this to be built before we can make any more progress over here. <coughs> Which is okay. So even with what I've spent on building today, I'm 61,000 down. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, boys. We've got a nice little one-way system going on too. So that's now in. That's all done. That's all short stay, by the way, as well. So if these two here get filled up with long stay, and I can have a little bit more backup over there. Oh, but oh, we're gonna have to uh, do a path going around that one. I'll leave it for now, though. I don't think we don't, we're not really desperate <clears throat> at the moment. I haven't got those desks done just yet. All this little path is now done, so we can then we now have the freedom to work on all the stuff over there, which they're now bringing all the boxes and stuff over. Here we go. So then we connect. Well, I need to do it this way, don't I? So connect to a stand there, which opens up the door. Connect to the baggage bay. And then missing taxi path to a runway supporting large. Oh, oh, this don't support large airplanes, does it? 
I forgot about that, to be honest. Now, if I did upgrade it, um, I can't actually upgrade it. Repair. Aircraft infrastructure. Runway large, 750,000. Whew. Oh. <laughs> That's expensive, man. Right, hold on. Let me get this all set up too. So, connect stand. Oh, I felt that, man. I felt that. Uh, connect baggage over there real quick. So that's the only thing that's now missing. Oh! Man, I felt the pain there. Now my problem is... I'm not going to be able... To get a large one in, am I? No, I can. I can fit one in. It's got to go here. But it also means the medium has to disappear. I'm also going to have to get another loan out. So, loans. Um, right, 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 right. Let's take this loan. Let's demolish this runway. Right, that's now gone. Well, will be gone. And this is what we're going to be replacing it with. So now we're just going to have to wait for all our workers to run over here, which they're doing right now. And it's a good job I do it in the night, but at the same time, I've... Uh... <laughs> it's getting close to when planes are going to be landing again soon. So guys, can you literally... Right, I, I want you to work harder than you've ever worked before in your entire life to get this done. Which they're, they're doing a good job, guys. They're doing a good job. It's now all gone. All right, let me zoom out a little bit. Right, there we go. I've dropped it down. I have 300,000 remaining. So everyone's not going to be screaming at me the fact that they can't land their planes. But... <laughs> I'm hoping we're going to get this all, all done now. So at least... When that runway's built... Which, we're waiting for the goods to arrive. Are they building it now? Is anyone... No, no one's over there just yet. Have the goods arrived yet, boys? Okay, right. They're starting to build some of it. Which, yeah, is going to take some time. I can hear all the ding, 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 ding happening right now. Well, that dude's definitely stuck over there. So let me just sort out... Uh, all of this sidewalk business. So I might as well go all the way around. It don't actually cost us that much more money than normal. But at least people parking over here can walk around and get out. Right, have we done that runway? Yes. Okay, operational mode. So large aircraft, commercial. It's both. Oh, we don't have... Um... Right, pause. There's <laughs> too much going on. What did, no, what did he say? Sorry. Make sure you have at least two exit entries connected to the... Oh, we want two of them. Hmm. Right, I'm going to do it like this then. Must be connected to a runway? What are you talking about? What's going on? You're connected. What are you doing to me? Oh, no. Wait. What? Oh, I need large versions. 
Right, I get it. I get it. I get it. They want to throw everything at me today, boys, don't they? They want to throw everything at me today. So if they're asking for a large version... 6,000. Right, let me drop that there. I'm going to have to kind of delete a little bit. All right, let's go, boys. Right, they want to throw everything at me today, don't they, boys? All right, that fits in there wonderfully. And I have those kind of set up. Might as well delete this. Also, might as well get our freaking taxi foundation underway. I don't know if it's going to like what I'm trying to attempt next as well. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Because what I'm trying to attempt to do next is not going to be the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> but i got 300,000 remaining. I need to get this done ASAP, boys. Because I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that goes in a straight line straight down. Like, to there. If not, then it's going to need some more combobulating. Well, they're busy on the uh, the little paths right now. That the airport is literally dive-bombing into debt because we're not making any money. So, contractors, hurry up. Uh, but anyway, it shouldn't take too long to get done when they do start the work. Right, that's now all done. Nothing else needs to be thrown in or set up. Um, so they're starting to work on that already. They're now going to be heading, as you can see now, all the way over there, which is good. So that is set up. It's not perfect, it's, it, but it's, it's set up, okay? <laughs> Dear God, Sonny, what have you done? What have you done? And we're just waiting again for this side to be fully functional. I'm just going to do it as, as, as time goes on. I'm going to add in my little spots. In the hopes that a connection there works, which it looks like it will. Now, it did say it needed four, if I'm right. So we see what happens now. So can I? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, it must have said two. I must have been like deja vu in it. Um, okay. We allow medium aircraft as well. So that sorts out those stands. That is now done. Again, it's not beautiful, pretty, or anything like that. <laughs> it's not at all. But what it is, is kind of slightly set up. So I'll go 50 there. And if I go 20%, 40, 40, 20. No, 40, 30, 30. Because I've got two medium, two large. I now need large aircraft. I don't know what that would class as large aircraft. So maybe I go to sign some contracts. Um, right, economy. Accepted contracts, offered contracts. Uh, okay, so I need airlines. And what have they got? I don't actually know what is a large airline. So they can't schedule any today, it'll be tomorrow. Right, they've got all different types of planes there. I need to learn the planes, don't I? And we'll see what happens. But we should now be able to make money again. Haha! -ha! There we go, we got two! We got two potentially coming in. Nice. <laughs> I get so excited. So that's going to bring a lot of people in. A lot of people in, hopefully. So let's fast forward them. Let's try and turn this bankruptcy around. 
I've spent, I've spent millions, mate. I've spent millions. So much in debt today, but hopefully, like I said, we can turn things around. Let's sort out the fees as well, because now we get in the bigger planes coming in. Um, so large parking fee is right up there. Heavy aircraft runway usage. Let's push all this up as well. Okay, we don't do any of this. Okay, there we go. So the fees are like literally right up there right now. Let me check out the schedule. So Sunday, Monday. Oh yeah, we got a couple coming in. So Air Strada is coming in on the Sunday. Uh, the first set of planes to kind of land, which is nice. Now I did notice in the procurement the night hours. Where's that? Oh, 150,000 to allow us to run 24 hours a day. Now that that's going to be very beneficial, but 150,000. Okay, I've got to turn. I've gone from making some nice steady income to now about to blow it all. So I've got to be careful. Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I need more planes. I need more planes, large planes landing. But I just want to play the waiting game right now to see what would happen. So, not going to spend any any money on the next day. We went down 300000 But I did spend a ton of money. Uh, construction right now. Dismiss all of our contractors. So, they're going home. We've just got some money there for our parking coming in. Now, I wonder how I feel the parking's going to get with the new planes that are going to be landing. Now, they're going to be huge planes. Don't get me wrong. They're going to be huge. Um, but it's it all comes down to how many people it's going to be bringing through our airport. So we wait, we're wait. we almost halfway on this. Three days remaining. Halfway on that, two days remaining. I wonder how much that would change with the, the bulk amount of people going to be coming through the airport. Also, is our security going to be able to handle it? I can tell you this right now. No. <laughs> no, it's not. We don't have much room in the like the kind of the board well the check in area to handle so many people, and there might be a vehicle or two that I'm kind of missing to to be able to handle these large aircraft. But we'll see what happens when it all comes. There's no point I'm in an iron right now because you just don't know what's going to happen. So economy procurement. Uh, what would would be good? Actually, maybe a dash. No, not that. Economy. Uh, operations. So, we don't have any catering stuff. We got these stuff enabled there. It might be worth getting an extra, like, fuel vehicle. So, do you know what? I'm going to hire. I'm going to buy two more of them. Two more of them. Large pullback baggage truck. I don't know if I need any of those, to be honest. So what do these refuel? Avgas. Uh, it's slowly inefficient. And I just noticed there's, there's other ones down here. It's much faster. And how many of these have I got? Filter by the Jet A1 fuel. One, two, three, four. I have six. I got six of those. Right, this Maverick fuel truck. There's no other like one after that, is there? Let me just quickly uh, go for it. Maverick fuel trailer truck. Speed. So that's, that gets added onto the. Tr oh, that's kind of cool. So anyway, let me get six of these, and then once I've got six of them, I can then get rid or or get rid. You know, delete the other ones that did a jet A one fuel, because these refuel planes a lot quicker than normal. So that'd be kind of cool to see. Also, guys, I'm hemorrhaging money right now, so I need a plane to land very soon. They're all waiting. 
Oh my god, that plane is huge! And there comes the second one. That one's even bigger! Well, it looks kind of slightly bigger. Oh my god. It's a beast. It's a beast! Right. So, are we going to see people get off it? I'm going to need more, like, stair trucks, aren't I? And stuff. That's now refueling it. Let me press pause. Right, did we get all those trucks, by the way? Vehicles. Right. How do I now know which is which? I don't, do I? And how do I delete trucks? <laughs> I don't know, do I? Avgas. That's kind of annoying now, isn't it? That I don't know which is which. But we got the fuel trucks there anyway. Is money coming back in? Money's coming back into my pocket now. I'm going to sort these vehicles out. How do I know which is which? And how do I get rid of them? <laughs> I don't even know, mate. Yeah, how do I delete a truck? Procurement. I don't know. If anyone knows how I delete trucks, let me know in the comment section, because I'm very, very curious. But anyway... We're down to our last dime and our last nickel. So this needs to start making us some money. So they're the belt loaders that we had in previously before. Which um, it's a lot quicker and easier than just doing one bug at a time. Makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? And what do these require? So you can see what they, they require from this one. This one requires few, it actually requires quite a few things, to be honest. But it's all about trying to turn it a profit. We'll just wait for the air, uh, the passengers to get on. That's when we get like a big bulk of the money and they take off. But we are going into debt. So bad. So bad, boys. <laughs> so how much are we losing today? 180,000. All right, okay. Fuel is going onto the plane. At what point did they start to board them? When is it about to take off? Uh, 10. Oh, it should have taken off half an hour ago. It's just been so delayed. And now we're 24,000 in debt. 30,000 in debt. So, vehicles, the operations. What could we do more of? Baggage trucks, shortage, belt loader, stair truck. <clears throat> and I'm not going to be able to uh, like get any of them either, am I? Um, stair loader is probably the one. Yeah, I can't afford it. So we are hemorrhaging money, boys. We are hemor hemorrhaging money. How much more fuel has got to go on it? This is ridiculous, the amount of fuel it's taking on board. I mean, we've, we've, we've earned quite a big chunk of money, but I've got to get these planes out of here. So why does it feel like no plane wants to go? I know I've got a shortage of everything. But this is definitely not good. Right, pause. Now, the, the, the last thing I want to do is get another loan. This is the last thing I want to do. 
But I'm kind of have to gonna get another loan. Now, reason being, right, take that. Reason being is because I need vehicles. So I need some more. And I just don't have enough. So stair trucks, vehicles, no, economy. Because if I don't get the vehicles, I can't move the planes. And if I can't move the planes, I'm not making any money again. So, um, stair truck. I'm going to get six of these. Uh, what else do I need again? Belt loader truck and baggage truck. So belt loader. Get four of these. And baggage truck. Where is it? Where's baggage truck? Have I just gone past it and just not realised? Uh, small pullback baggage. Baggage there. I'll get four of them baggage trucks. Okay, there we go. So get them purchased, get them ordered, get them here, and then we can start shifting the planes out of here. Because again, we're making no money. So are these new trucks on the way? Yep, yeah. yes they are. They're all coming in thick and fast. That's what I like to see. So then people should be able to... Oh, it's getting the people off. They've only just gotten off. Holy moly, they've been in there a long time. Right, so again, still a learning process, guys. Still a learning process, but getting them off now. That's going to the back. Is that getting more of them off? No. But it will allow them to then board in just a second, which will be good. So we can get some more money for that. So we just got to go through the motions right now. The people have got off, got their bags on, put the new bags on, get the new people on. See, they're now starting to load up as well, which you get $17 for each person that goes on, which is pretty cool. And then here comes the new ones, the other ones. And then I think we might get a fine or something when the plane eventually takes off. Um, do we need operations vehicles? Some Right, we need pushback trucks. I knew that was going to be a thing. And belt loaders. Didn't I get belt loaders? Oh, they've just not been delivered yet. I can't remember, but pushback trucks anyway. Uh, medium aircraft. Okay, I need the large ones. Where's the big ones? Pull force baggage truck. Uh, these ones here. So if I get two of them, push back a blue whale or a large aircraft. <laughs> get two of them. Belt loader. Get two of them. Push back truck. Get two of them ones because we've got so many vehicles in there. Oh wait, the bow load is completely different, isn't it? I'm going to get four of these real quick. It's completely different to what I thought it was that I've ordered. Oh man, I feel so dumb. But again, now we're just waiting for that to come into play. So we're just waiting for the pushback to happen. But the pushback won't happen until the trucks come in. Which it's now only just arrived. So that will now push back them. It's a big shambles we've gone through right now, but finally that's getting it out so we can now 100% fully service the planes. Oh, it's been a mess. It's been a huge mess, but at least we're sorting it out. So what, what are they going to tell me I'm going to get now, right now when this plane takes off? Do I get anything? 3,500. Okay. okay, not bad, not bad. We're actually turning a profit this hour, which is good to see. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how, but we're going to see what happens. Hopefully we can turn it around, because now, as you look at it, they can come and go as they please. So the next few days should slowly turn around a bit better. So baggage coming on, people getting off. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. We just got to go for that painstaking task now. I'm trying to get things back on track. Whew, it's been a tough one, boys. It's been a tough one. So baggage all on that one. Uh, refueling still taking place. I've got to sort out some of the trucks. I've got too many fuel trucks at this point. So it would be nice to uh, sell some or get rid of some. That would be kind of handy. But fueling's all done, as you can see. 
Uh, not for this one anyway, so more fueling needs to be done for that one. Everyone's getting onto this plane, by the way, too. And when does that take off? At 1600 hours. Oh, it's it's beyond delayed, <laughs> that is. That is currently beyond delayed. So is it coming to do the rest of the fueling right now? Yes, it is. Is everybody on board? I'm not sure if anyone's if everyone's on board. I, I assume it is. Is that now done? No, more re refueling. So yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of these smaller trucks so they will favor the large ones more. Uh, last little bit of, ba bit of baggage is coming in. Is there any other vehicles that we could do with more? No, we have a surplus of everything. Especially the belt loaders and the fuel trucks. But that's now done. That's now going to skedaddle and get out of here. So we're only down 50,000 this day. <laughs> so off this one goes. Right, delay everything. It will spin around. It will shoot for the stars. And yeah, we delayed. Big time. But... We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Now, what's this one missing? We have a huge backlog of vehicles going back and forth right now. <laughs> what are you doing? This is also the other half of the issue. They're all trying to turn around and go in their ways. And this is going to be our next big issue right now. I've got too many service vehicles, man. Well, let me pause. Let me see my vehicles. So, how do I distinguish between the two types of trucks? I think the easiest thing to do is go to me the economy area. Um, procurement again. And I've got this one here with the black symbol on. Small cab. But Ah, it's the small cabbed version. Okay. Which is this one here. So how ah see, the sell button's right here, right? Sell you, uh, sell you. I'm selling the small cabbed one. So this is the big one. So I don't need the small cabbed version of it anymore. And they'll make their way out of here. And I've got one too many. Let me go back operations. I must have got one too many baggage trucks, but it doesn't look like I've got enough. <laughs> I think it's the traffic jams currently going on as well. That's not helping. Because you're like, trying to go up to here. And stuff. A lot of them trying to turn in. Causing traffic jams. I need better systems. Better systems. <clears throat> so I'm thinking at some point I should maybe stop the general aviation so we can s slow down on this traffic. Or ultimately have a garage on this side. That could also be kind of handy. But it's gone from 0 to 100 real quick. <laughs> Real quick, boys. But hopefully we can turn it all around. Has this run out of... Um... Sign a contract. There we go. Sign. These got their frigate. Look at that. Oh, my God. With the additional people, we could actually kind of almost complete these contracts. That's kind of crazy. Is nobody want to work today? Oh, look at the, look at the uh, security right now. That's getting a beating. That's getting a huge beating. But hopefully we can turn it around. We're still floating around 120,000. But we should be able to turn it around. Waiting for fuel. Is there traffic jam still? Yeah, of course there is, mate. So my surplus in vehicles. Let me just quickly check. So... Belt loader truck. That's another big one, isn't it? I mean, I suppose it's only got out the vehicles that it needs. 
hasn't it? I, I mean, I, that's probably one thing you could say about it. It's only got the vehicles out that it kind of needs. So many trucks want to be delayed. Um, so many flights want to be delayed. Is this how many? Oh, man, that's going to complete its goal, man. I know it is. So is this. We've always additional passengers. So we make it. We made a little slight bit of profit for the hour. So the only thing that I'm, well, the reason I'm using so much money right now is because we're paying back all of these loans. So it's one of those things we're just going to have to suck it up for some time. So the loans, uh, they've still got quite a few days until they're all done and dusted. Can I repay back any of it? No, because obviously I don't have enough funds. But the money coming in right now, ooh, we're getting big chunks of money coming in. Once some loans are paid back, the money will then be earning because we have these large aircraft, so be substantial. But boy, am I in a lot of debt. <laughs> Look at these car parts getting filled up too, man. This is crazy. But it's good, man, because it all helps. It all kind of helps. So what I need to do then is I need to distinguish between the medium and the no the the jet fuel for the commercial planes and the aviation one so if i set up on this side the fuel station and garage pump i can have the road go down and be another service entry road on this side so rather than having to go up to here to cut across they can just go straight in fill go back out so they don't have to cross pass with the refueling for the general aviation that's where we're getting a few little hiccups and issues uh still doesn't have all the fuel and that is Really, really annoying. Now, we do have... we got our J-01 fuel here. Now, didn't we have... Or have something similar? Procurement. One second, guys. The uh, It's the trailers that we want next. That would be kind of dope. So, fuel trailer. So an additional trailer, which means they can they can tow another trailer of fuel, which will be handy to refuel these guys up. Now, do we get money off him now exiting, or has he been there way too long that we lose money? <clears throat> no, we made a little bit of money. Not bad. Not bad. So it looks like we're, we're averaging 125,000 losing daily. Which is not great, obviously it's not great, <laughs> but we got something to work on, if that makes sense. It's giving us something to work on. Now, that is done. That completed its goal. So I can now sign a new contract, and they want... They, will, dear God, they want a lot of sales. I'm going to stick to the, uh, the one-star one. 450 sales. Oh, that's easy, mate. These are okay. They're gonna. They got. They still got plenty of time to work with those guys. But get another store in. Make some more money. That's now getting filled up with fuel. 100% complete. 84% complete. Um. And that's good to go, and it will be out of here. That's gone. I think that's a very a successful one, to be honest. The pair of them. So push back all them. Wow, we get a lot of money for that pushback, didn't we? Damn, son. So off this one goes then. And do we make profit off that flight leaving? No. <laughs> this flight's leaving. Yes, and we, that one was successful. So that's all good. So fueling in process now. That's good. Will it go all the way to 100%? Nah. But here comes the second one. To finish it all up. To top it all up. 100% done. That's going to be a successful departure, that plane. I can really feel it. So we lost 145,000 on that previous day, which is really, really bad. But it is what it is, guys. We just got to pay off our debts. So loans. Which one's going to be finished first? It's going to be this one here in seven days so that gives us well it makes us pay an additional 3,500 an hour which if you think about it if you do 10 hours 
that's 35,000. 20 hours is 70,000, an additional four hours. Um, so you're looking at, I mean, if my maths are correct, I'll, I'll run up to 85,000. So once that loan's paid off, you're 85,000 a day better off. And if we lost that yesterday, minus 85,000, right? And then you're 60,000 at a loss once that loan's been paid off. Now, think of that. If that middle one was that, what about this one? That's 4,800 a day. You see what I mean? When them loans are paid off, man, we're making like over 100,000 a day profit. <coughs> but we're going to go for that process of paying off them off. So as long as I can keep things moving, keep things rocking and rolling, then it should be, we should be okay, he says. <laughs> we should be okay. Look at, the, look at the cleanup on our freeze we got right now with the traffic jams. It's like, what are they doing and where are they going? You just sort yourself out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, boy! But, um, operations again. Baggage trucks A, Avgas fuel. Shortage on baggage trucks. I mean, I know it says there's a shortage. It's not really a shortage. It's just because they're not getting to their task in time. But fuel is taking place. Bags are all off. We're making money this hour. So it just shows you that we, we 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 can make money. It is possible. It literally is possible, but it does take a lot of time. And it's a big wait and turn around that we have to do. Uh before we get there, but it's gonna take some time, guys. It is gonna take some time. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time when I've eventually cleared all my debt, I'll see you all soon. So Good. Bye.